Thank you for calling Philip Pizza Hut. Which I see her here is special. Uh, no, actually, I have a, a situation I'd like to talk to you about, if it's possible. Mm -hmm. uh, we were there uh, not long ago. I was there with my son. Uh, mm -hmm. My son, and, uh, and he actually went to your bathrooms there in Pizza Hut, and uh, everything was okay, and then we were in the car, and uh, we come up to a stop sign, and uh, little Johnny, he kind of reaches over and uh, puts something in front of my face, and it happened to be a, believe it or not, and I don't think you'll probably believe me, but it's absolutely 100% true, he put a condom in front of my face. And uh, I was a little upset, if you can imagine. Uh, I asked him where he got it, and he pointed to the Pizza Hut just as we were leaving. Now, do you actually not clean your bathrooms at all, or is this a situation that happens? Because, really, I'm upset. I, I mean, I, I can imagine how you would have felt if that was your kid. Okay, when was this? This was actually the other day. Do you remember each day so I can... Well, I'm thinking that uh, basically it was more like a Thursday we were there, Thursday night, my wife and I and our son. And I, I turned to him and he was just, he thought it was funny, but can you imagine me trying to explain to him what it's for? I mean, come on. It's just not something I want that ever to happen again. You pull up to a stop sign, your kid's flashing a, a condom at you. Obviously a condom that's out of the package, which is already disgusting. So is it a, a policy of Pizza Hut to actually not clean their bathrooms or at least pay attention to what the hell is on the floor? Okay, I'm so, I'm sorry about that. I didn't know about it, but I can't. I'll well, you. obviously you're not uh, not the one that I that that is responsible. I'm just want to know because you know you you have a son doing that to you, and, and and it's not it's not funny. It's not something you want to done. I turned to him and I said, "Stop it!" Even though he's 38 years old, he's a bit mentally challenged, and I didn't want him knowing right away what this kind of stuff is for. So it's a little bit depressing when you when you have to explain something that you weren't prepared to explain to him until he was 70 or 80. Okay. You, okay. you know? I mean, it's not your fault. How long have you worked there? Huh? Huh? How long have you worked there? Uh, about seven months. Seven months. Well, definitely it's not your fault. I mean, you're only part of the group, part of the person who helps you and leads you into the cleanup. So I'm, I'm just wondering, is, is the kitchen as dirty as the bathroom? Could you possibly give me some heads up as to whether I should continue to go there and eat there? I mean, should I bring the used condom to the manager? Because I don't think the manager will believe me uh, if I do that. Um, I think it's good if you buy it to the manager. You think uh, bringing a used condom to the manager, you think he would actually believe that that was uh, found in his bathroom and that I wasn't some kind of jerk-off trying to pull his chain and try to get a free pizza? Uh, I'm not sure, but I'll tell her about it. You know, a lot of times, and I'll tell you, this was not just an average fellow either. This guy, this guy didn't buy those little guys. He bought them big mothers who can probably, he probably can actually buy those great big suckers and go shopping with them and use them as bags to carry groceries. This guy was a big dude. Uh, so I, I don't think uh, it's something that could be missed, really. Okay. I know I'm I know I'm ranting and raving at you, but I don't really mean to. Um, I, how how old are you, by the way? I don't even know if I should even be talking to you about this. I'm eighteen. You're eighteen years old. Uh huh. Well, then hell, it's not your fault. You've probably had never seen a condom that size in your entire life. Have you ever seen a condom? I don't want to talk to you about this. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just, it's just, it's okay. absolutely just disgusting. So I can appreciate that you've stayed on here talking to me as long as you have. Uh, can you, can you possibly, uh, is there a manager there now? Well, I'm just manager for now, for today. You're the manager for today, so I'm actually getting on your case for no reason. I apologize. Is there any way I can make it up to you? Because uh, tomorrow, my wife and I and our 30-some-odd-year-old uh, son, we're, although he is mentally challenged, he's a good-looking boy, uh, we are actually going somewhere for dinner. Is there a chance I can make it up to you and take you for dinner with us and maybe show you around town? No, it's fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Because you sound like a very sweet person. I'm sure, yeah. Okay, so you're sure. Uh, do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> I don't want to talk to you about this. Oh, okay. I hope I haven't embarrassed you in any way. Yeah. Could I mail it? Can I mail the condom to your to the pizza out there? Do you have a mailing address? 
uh, you can bring it in. I don't I'll, know. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll bring in the condom, but I've got to warn you, I'm probably not going to be able to hold it with my hand, so I'll probably carry it uh, installed, if you know what I'm saying. So uh, I'll be there tomorrow uh, and talk. What's the manager? What's her first name? Who? Huh? Uh, the manager. What's the first name? The manager? Yeah. Nancy. Nancy, Fancy Nancy. All right, well, I'll be there talking to Fancy Nancy tomorrow. Uh, you can count on that, young lady. You can damn well count on that, and I will tell her how wonderful you were to me on the phone and to my uh, bit of spazoid son and my and my wife. So thank you. Thank you very, very much. You are a delight, I'll tell you right now. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs> Oh, God. Was that okay? Was that okay? Did that work out okay for you guys? Was that all right? There's a two thumbs, three thumbs. Uh, what's up, Twin Deucer? How are you? Four thumbs. Brilliant. It was brilliant, I tell you. Brilliant. Uh, it was a good one. All right. So I passed that one okay. I did. That was a good one. Thank you so much. Uh, once again, that one has also been recorded. So we have two recordings, uh, one of mediocre uh, kind of recording and one of this one, which you guys said is okay. <laughs> 